Hello friends, Heather here and today I am working on a baby shower card that I am giving to a friend who is going to give it to her friend for her friend who is having a baby. Um, so I started out on the theme of course is Finding Nemo um, and this cute little image here, this little Finding Nemo image was one that was on the invitation. And it's just a cute image. Um, I believe you can get it like at Disney.com or something like that. If you just search baby um, Finding Nemo imitations, they're like free. And so I used this image and then I altered another one um, digitally so that uh, I could have two cute little images for my card. And then I used the colors from both of these um, just in some papers that I just created in GIMP and they're just real simple uh, colors that match with little dots. So easy peasy. All right, I started out with a large scallop shape here, which will open up. I used my crocodile to punch two holes here at the top, which you can see here. I have also inked this piece so far with tumbled glass um, distressing from Ranger. And I used, let's see, um, tattered rose on my pink piece. So I'm getting the layers out here. So I've got this pink circle piece. So I used tattered rose on this one. I used the peeled paint for my green. And then on this orange color, I used spiced marmalade. Okay. Um, I also used the spiced marmalade on my little text boxes, which um, say welcome and baby. So I just put those up here so you see them. And I also used, um, actually I used Inkscape to create my lettering. And then um, I just did a pixel trace and uh, make the cut and then cut that out. All right, so my plan is I have this nice big scallop base here and I'm gonna put this really pretty bow and my ribbon is of course from Really Reasonable Ribbon. And if you watch Bonnie's tutorial, she will show you how to make a ribbon which is attached to another piece of ribbon. So your bow will slide on your ribbon for placement. And so what I'm going to do is my bow is going to um, rest inside of these holes and then just go at the top when I am done. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead now and I'm going to ink all my pieces and then I will be right back. Okay, I have inked all my edges and now I'm just going to show you how I think anyway I am going to assemble my card. So I have my card base in the back. And then I have my green layer, which I have put large pop dots on the back. And these are Tombow um, Fix-It Foam Pads. You can get them um, from Really Reasonable Ribbon. Bonnie carries them in her store. Um, and you get large ones and small ones in the same size package. Uh, so it's really great. And I love these because they're very easy to pull the um, paper off. So they're easy to stick on. So I'm going to put my green layer on first, and I am going to um, put my orange layer here on top of the green, and I will be using my um, art glitter glue to apply uh, this, because I, I like to take and put um, glue around my little edges there. And then um, the next layer will be the pink layer. And I will do the same thing and use the art glitter glue. And then I am going to assemble my um, little frame piece, which is the scallop piece and then another scallop piece on top. And what I have done is I have taken the smaller foam um, pads. And as you'll see here, I've cut them in half, actually. So I've taken the tiny, small square ones. And you see here, I'll have cut them in half. And then I've just put them on the outside parts of a scallop. And I'm only going to put them on the bottom half. And then I will include some with the card with instructions on how to put their photo in and then add more um, so it can stay stable. Um, otherwise, they won't be able to slide their picture behind. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put my layers together. And then I will be right back. 
Okay, actually, I thought I would just show you how I like to use my um, fine tip applicator here, just to go around these scallops. That way you know that they are going to stick to your paper, and you don't have to worry about your card coming apart. So I just kind of go around, and um, once the stuff dries, <laughs> you're not getting it off. So you want to make sure you get it um, placed where you want it. Okay, I just had one of my cats pop up here. And let's see, I'm going to be putting it on this here, so I just want to kind of look around for placement here. And that looks pretty good to me. Do a little mash down. Actually, you can even flip it over. And it probably would have been easier um, if I hadn't put my pop dots on first, but sometimes I'm silly like that and I do that. So just give it a good rub. And so now my layer is on. I have a kitty here. He thinks he's going to pop in and join us. No, no. All right. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing now with my pink layer, which I ink on that side. So I'm going to just put some glue here. Just eyeball. Excuse us, Mr. Snuggles. Mommy's doing a video. Oh, and I just want to give a shout out to my friend Helen because I am sure she is awake because it is like almost 2 a.m. and her name is, um, her blog name is 2 a.m. Scrapper. So, hi, Helen. Heather here. And lately I've been doing the burning the midnight oil and the morning oil right along with you making my last minute cards that I tell people, sure, I'll do that for you. And then, you know, the day comes, I'm like, oh, I got to do that card. So, all right, let me get my pieces here for my frame. And I am um, not too concerned about inking this piece so much because you're not going to really see it since this one's going to be on top. All right, so I'm going to do that and I will be right back. Okay, I have my little frame put together. You can just see here how that worked out. Easy peasy. And I'm just going to apply some glue to the back. And what I did um, to make things easier for myself is when I was cutting out my shapes, I printed my paper um, that I had done for these shapes on both sides. So that way, um, like my pieces, here, my little cute pieces, and I've got the blue with the white polka dots on the back. So whenever they hang over the side, they'll still look real cute on the back side as well. All right, so you want to make sure when you're putting your scallop piece on here that you got your piece. Let's see. I gotta hopefully I'll be on the camera here. It's kind of hard to tell where I want to go exactly. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Just give that a little rub. So, so far, looking very cute, if I do say so myself. All right, and I'm going to grab my other piece here. And I think, let me see if um, my bow is going to go at the top here. It's going to look super cute. Very happy with it. All right, I'm going to go ahead and um, attach this to the back here, and I will be right back. Okay, I think this is how I want to do the inside of the card. So I am um, going to just put together my layers the same way as I did before, but I am going to keep them flat on the inside. But I might pop up, actually, this piece in a little welcome baby sentiment. So I am going to do this the same way I did um my others. I'm going to just use glue for quickness. Otherwise you could use score tape which um, it's a two-sided tape and Bonnie carries that in her store. Um, I'm just going for real quick here since like I said earlier it's like 2 a.m. and I should be sleeping. <laughs> kind of silly. All right. And I'm going to stand up for a minute here, make sure I'm still on camera. Just cover this up. And actually, I um, 
I punched holes all the way through both layers, and so I would suggest just doing it in one layer in the future. Um, I wasn't really thinking when I did that, but um, and then I'll just cover up the back with something like maybe this card made by, and then put my name on there. All right, let me see. I'm gonna do the orange layer now, and again, I'm just gonna kind of go around my scallops here with my fine tip applicator and my art glitter designer dries clear glue. Of course, you could use the dries white. It wouldn't matter what glue. You can just rest assured that it is going to stay in place and not fall off. And you can tell my tip is a little, I kind of forgot to put my lid on it. So, but there is some glue on there. You can just barely see it. Okay. Go ahead and just place that on here. Cute. I love the colors. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing now with my pink. back in just a moment. Okay, I'm just going to add some glue now to my glue piece and go around my little scallops here because hopefully lots of people will let them look at it um, at the party and so you don't want anything falling apart while somebody's holding the card. Okay. Super cute. All right, and I think I'm gonna wait and do the poofy pieces or my little um, cute ones um, when I'm done with the front. So let's go back to the front here. And I guess I'm gonna sit here and think about this for a minute, but I, I know I wanna put my bow on. So let's see how that's gonna work. I tend to be a, um, I don't really think things out. I like to just do things as I go. I know a lot of people aren't like that, but I kind of am. So there we go. Let's stick that in there on this side. And I'm gonna stick the other side in here. And like I said, Bonnie has got a bunch of new videos using the new bow at all that she is carrying in her store. Um, and you can learn how to make some beautiful ribbons and bows, I mean. So you already get the ribbon. It's beautiful from our store. And then you get to make something beautiful out of the ribbon, like a bow. And so this is a, the bow that I'm, I made here was actually a two-sided ribbon. And so she shows you how to, or a one-sided ribbon. So she'll show you how to um, like twist it so that you have the um, polka dots on the same, all facing the front. So let's go here to my piece. And here is the inside. And I believe what I am going to do is I am going to um, just fold this piece over like this. And then I am going to do the same thing and just come back over with this one. Otherwise, I could knot it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Let me see what it looks like knotted with like a little bow. Maybe that would be cute. Otherwise, I was going to just do a simple um, tie it and then glue it down. But maybe a bow would look cute on the inside too. So let's see if I can tie while I'm on camera. Probably not. I have to do like a lot of adjusting of things. So here we go. Actually, that is kind of cute, having a little tie on the inside, too. And it's a cute bow on the outside. I'm kind of loving it. And I think what I'll do is I'll probably give it a little bit of glue right underneath the lip here of my bow, just so my bow will stay flat. And I know I will 
give my um, I will anchor down my other bow my bow tie ends too so let's go back in here and I like to um, finish off my ends by just uh, kind of folding this little piece in half which I know is going to be difficult because it's like this one fourth inch trim so I fold it in half and then on the fold I cut out so hopefully you can see the angle there that I just did let me see if I can zoom in real quick and then I will, um, so that's how you get this cute little um, edge there. I'm going to turn my piece around and I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm just pinching it in half. And on the fold part, it's toward me and I'm going to have it slant to my left. And then it gives me this cute little piece with the little points. See? Cute. Alrighty. So, cute. That's like an extra bonus because I wasn't expecting that to happen. So, I always love it when you have little happy accidents. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and decide how I want to put my pieces on the inside. I'm going to zoom back out. And then I will be back in just a moment. Here we go. Okay, I am back and I decided to go ahead and add some of the foam pads to the back of my sweet little image here and as well as my text box. Both of my text boxes. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and pop the pieces off here. I knew oh, I told you in one of my earlier videos how I really love these because they really easy come off and it's not until I say that they really easy come off that I have a problem with one but um, I do like them because they're easy to come off. Makes for quick last minute crafting which I tend to do a lot of so there we go. So peaceful and quiet in my house at this time in the morning. Kind of like it. All right. Get my pieces off here. Maybe. Okay. And I'm thinking I'm going to put like the welcome and the baby over here. Because I, um, I don't want my piece to stand outside of my card or stick outside. So I just want it to be on the inside. So I'm thinking right here is pretty good. I might help if I don't stick it to my text box. There we go. And I'm going to move, um, take off my text box pieces here. And I'm using some of those little half ones that I had uh, cut off. And I'm going to just stick it right here. Welcome. And baby. Aww. I haven't been to a baby shower in forever. I guess that's probably a good thing, though. Okay. Super cute, if I do say so, for my little sentiment on the inside. So here is the blue stuff. And I've got the cute second bow on the inside. And I'm going to go back to the outside and work on that some more. All right, so let me do a little more thinking, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. And now I'm going to go ahead and put some glue here underneath where I'm going to just... Um, glue down my orange uh, piece of ribbon and I'm just going to hold it in place for a little while so that I know it's going to um, stick because otherwise it's going to pop up like it just did and I think I'm going to remove my tip here just so I can get some more glue a big old gob of glue 
and then hold it down. So I'm going to do that for a couple minutes. And I'm thinking about giving my um, ribbon like a little bump so it's not perfectly flat. And then um, just gluing that down as well. And I may just go ahead and do that while I'm here and holding this down. So I'm going to just put some glue here. And just kind of eyeball. There we go. Just kind of holding down. And this is the dry clear glue, so once it dries, you're not going to see it. Cute! Ooh, it's looking cute. Cute, cute, cute. All right, let me um work on this side here. Decide what I want to do over here. So I'm gonna bring my ribbon down, and I think I'm gonna do the same thing on this side, and just kind of give it a little bit of glue here. And kind of there we go. Just hold that in place for a couple minutes. And I am wiping away the excess glue. So we'll see how this works. And I'm debating. I might actually add glitter to this card too, which wasn't in my original plan, but I do love glitter. And it'll look all pretty and sparkly on the package. So that's always nice. And I do have a lot of different glitters. And if I hadn't mentioned it, if you go to Art Glitter um, through the month of November and in the checkout um, process, you can put in the code a capital T and a capital B, which stands for Tombow, and then the numbers 2 and 0. So capital T, B, 2, 0. Um, Use that at the checkout as your code, and you will receive 20% off a $25 purchase or more of Art Glitter products. Um, and that's going through the whole month of November. So um, we have Art Glitter teamed with Tombow this month. Ooh, there's my beautiful bow. It's just darling. I just love it. I'm so happy Bonnie talked me into getting that um, bow at all. So, all right. Now I have that done. Now I just need to place my cute little image here. And I'm thinking it's going to go right here on the side. Um, because I don't want it to cover up like the little baby's image too much there. So what I am going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, look at my card. And I see that all right here and here and right here. Um, these spots are still, I have my car behind it, the rest of the card behind it, um, but they're going to need to be elevated. So I'm just going to put some pop dots there. So I'm going to grab some small pop dots. And I know one's going to go on this body. And I'm just going to go ahead and take that off and replace this. And let me zoom that back out here. So I can decide again how I want it to do this. I think that should be good. All right, so I'm going to grab a couple more of these foam tabs. And I'm just taking them and sticking them on my finger right now. And I'm going to come up and under here and just find locations. There we go. So I just put one right here, and I'm going to do the same thing now up here with my little Nemo. So I'm going to put, oh, I got two bonus. Um, let's see if I can, you can see right where I'm putting one. Let's stick that back under there and then pinch it down to my card base. And let's see. 
Let's head down here to the bottom. And it looks like right in here would be good. So let's take that off. And stick that there. So you can see how I did that. And then press it down. Oh my gosh, it's adorable and I'm loving it. <laughs> oh my goodness. Craziness. I get kind of crazy sometimes. All right. Um, let's see. I guess that's pretty good. I'm happy with that. Now I'm going to go ahead and just use some glue and put it up here so this piece will stay down. So let me um, find my applicator here and I'll be right back. Okay. I found my applicator and I even cleaned it out a little bit so I would actually get some a decent amount of glue out of my tip. And I'm just going to turn my piece here a little bit and I'm going to Hopefully you can see, I'm just going to go on the scallop piece. Oops. Hopefully I didn't go too far, which I may have done. Which, that's okay, I'll just take off the excess from my finger. And then, um, give them a little smoosh. A little sweet smoosh for my Nemo baby. And then I'm going to do the same thing right in here. This time, I'm going to not go quite so far. Give it a nice little swish. Oh, it's adorable. Adorable. And here is my card so far. I'm loving it. And hopefully you can hear me. I'm kind of quiet because it's just so quiet in our house and I'm not used to that. Oh, and my other cat has just now popped up onto the table. All right, I'm going to look and see um, what glitters I can find, and I am going to be right back. Okay, I am going to use, um, of course, my Designer Dries Clear Glue. I am going to use my Blue Angel Glitter, which is number 183. Let's see if I can get it. There we go. 183. Number 92, Banana. Number 162, just peachy. Let's see, I am going to use number 286, lettuce, and number 91, orange crush. And I'm not sure if I'll use any other colors yet, but you never know. So I'm going to go ahead and I am going to start out by um, doing some glitter on the green. So I'm going to just take my uh, outliner here in my glue and I'm going to just kind of outline my uh, greenery there we go. and it just kind of gives it a little artsy look and of course it's going to make it all pretty and sparkly while I am here, I'm going to go ahead and do some dots around the outside too, where the green is. If you haven't noticed, I am one of those, I can't leave a spot empty. I don't do clean and simple at all. I try, but um, I'm just not good at that. And I don't do uh, good with white spaces either. So you won't see me in those challenges very often. Oh, and this is the first time I'm using this lettuce um, glitter. I'm opening that up. Ooh, and it is beautiful. Very sparkly. It's really hard to um, realize how beautiful glitter is through a camera. So just know that if you use it, you're going to love it. So I'm going to sprinkle that on here. And then I'm just going to use a folded sheet of paper. Ooh, 
all pretty and sparkly already. All right, and I'm gonna add some more over here to these dots. And I'm just using like a scrap piece of paper that I folded in half to uh, catch my extra glitter. Okay, and then usually I just give my piece a good couple taps. And then once um, I let it dry, and then I will use a brush with soft bristles, and I will just brush away the excess, um, which, of course, my brush is not sitting right in front of me right now. Or I would show you. Oh, here's one. Um, I did a lot of toll painting, and I just used my toll painting brushes. So, okay. Go ahead and tap that. Scooch this here. Get my extra glitter. And I just easy, I get my container, and I just pour it back in like this. And then I tap my edges on my paper, the back sides, and then give it another tap or two. And usually that gets most of it in there. So, and then I put my cap back in or on, because sometimes it'll happen is you'll find you have a mess on your floor because you uh, drop it. Okay, so now, I am going to do, um, I'm just going to get right to the blue because I want to do the blue. So I'm going to do it dots on the blue. And I'm just going to put it in each scale up here. And I'm going to do the same thing with the big scallops. At least any place that um, it's going to show. All right, get my trusted little piece of paper here and my blue angel glitter. And I think this may end up being a art glitter project. So when you're seeing this, I'll be posting it for art glitter. So. Um, I love being on the design team there because I love using their glitter. So, and it's ultra fine, and they've got um, clear, transparent glitter, and then they also have um, opaque glitter. So they have all kinds of different glitters. They got holographic glitter, chunky pieces, glass pieces. You name it, they're gonna have it. And they got it in like every color. So I would definitely check out their site. Um, even before I was on their design team, I used their glitters because our local scrapbook store had sold their glitters and their glue. And um, I would do some design pieces for them and they would hang them up in their store. And we talked about how nothing ever falled off any of my uh, pages or anything because I used that art glitter glue. So and there we go. Oh, it's looking darling. So let me get it up here so you can see how cute it is. And um, you'll just have to take my word for it that it's really glittery and sparkly in real life. And it's kind of dark in my room because, like I said, it's like 2 a.m. I don't even know what time it is now because it was 2 a.m. a while ago. So we'll see. And I'm just going to pour my glitter back into my jar. And I'm going to move on now, I think, to the orange glitter. I'm just going to really quick blow on my thing here. Try to get out the extra glitter. You know, some that was like a lot. <laughs> All right. And now I'm going to go ahead and do some orange crush glitter. Mm -hmm. Actually, let me see if I can just... Use my brush here to get some of that out of the way. Alright. And I think with the orange, I'll just go right here. There we go. And here. And there. OK. 
Okay. Let me just um, clean my tip off here for a second. And now I am going to go ahead and put just a little bit on here as well. There we go. And I'm happy with that. And I'm going to turn my piece over this time. And stick that right there. And I'm going to use the orange crush glitter. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Glitter just adds so much. So, all right. So there is that layer of glitter. And I'm trying to figure out if I want to add any more here. Let me see of this color. Let me think. I'm going to be back in just a moment. Okay, I found two more colors of glitter I decided I want to add. Um, pumpkin, which is number 56. There we go. And it's darker and I'm going to use that on Baby Nemo. And then I am going to use number 236, which is Clementine. And I am going to um, use that on my little turtle here. So I'm going to go ahead and actually do the pumpkin first on the fish. Let's see, on our little Nemo. And I am just going to kind of do it um, like on his tail. And then, um, let's see, on the fins. I don't want to do a whole lot of this color because it's so dark. But I do want to have some. Oh, I think that's going to be good enough. Okay. And let's go ahead and put this dark pumpkin glitter on. Oops. Okay. Oh, it's looking adorable. Super cute if I do say so myself. All right. Now let's go ahead and add some glue to our little turtle. All right. And I'm just going to, um, kind of outline them here. And just little paddles. Just little handles. Paddles. That's what they are. Paddles. I'm not sure what I said. Puddles maybe. <laughs> Too funny. But there we go. And I'm going to go actually put this on. Go ahead and because this is kind of a lighter color. So, okay. Grab my Clementine. adorable. Adorable. All right. And I am also going to now add 
um, some of this just peachy. I'm going to put that on my pink areas. So let's see here with my brush, this green and um, other colors should be dry enough. I can just um, remove, there we go, the extra glitter. Okay, I'm going to use my thing here and I guess I'll go ahead real quick and zoom in. These are kind of small areas just so you can see what I'm doing here. And I am going to just do some little lines. There we go. And then again, some more um, little dots because I love dots. There we go. Put all my excess stuff up here. Grab my just peachy glitter. Okay. I'm going to mess that on here first. I'll go ahead and do these bottom half circle pieces. There we go. Turn my piece. Add some more glitter. I think I've got everything now. I'm just going to tap the back. And see, look how cute the back of my card looks, too, because it's in the blue and the white. And even my little piece that sticks out, my little turtle's head, is the blue and the white. So it looks real pretty. It gives it a nice finished look. So there we go. I think this is adorable. All right, let me just get some of this out of the way. I don't really want to put any um, black on just because it's such a dark color. So I think what I'm going to do instead is I am going to um, do a clear color just so that the sparkle will continue on um, my little Nemo. So he looks nice and sparkly just like the rest of the card. So. I'm going to find a clear color here somewhere. I got crystal. I know I have another color too. Let me see what this crystal looks like. Here's crystal. That might work. I don't know if I've used that before, so we'll just go ahead and use it. Call it done. Make it easy on ourselves here. Okay. Um, I'll go ahead and do a little outline on his eye here. Maybe. My glue might have just dried up. Here we go. All right. And let's just see how that looks. And actually, I think I'm going to get a new piece of um paper. Let's see if I can find one here. And scrap. There we go. From when I cleaned my printer earlier. Okay. And there we go. Oh, cute. Now his eyeballs are going to be sparkly too. So that is super cool. All right, I'm going to go ahead and um, add some to the Nemo as well. I just put it right on his little stripe here. And on his skin. And then I'm going to go ahead and outline his eyes as well. Okay, 
with the glitter. And take this glitter. And just get this out of the way. Put my glitter back in my container here. And I don't tap too hard when I'm doing like the light glitter because I don't want the other glitters um, kind of following. So just falling into my um, clear glitter. And I'm going to just give this a tap. And then I'm just going to put a piece of blue over the top here um, and sign it from the back. But um, I think for right now, I'm going to call this good. It looks really pretty. I'll let it dry. Although I did have a yellow color. Ooh, banana. So I'm going to go ahead and use that as well. So I'm going to add that right here, some glue. Not too much. There we go. Pretty, pretty. Ooh, very sparkly and pretty. Okay, so I am going to let this dry and I will be taking some still pictures. And um, I'm pretty sure this video is going to be super long as it is, so I think I'm going to have to end it where we are now. I'm going to zoom back out so you can see my whole card um, that has a nice little spot for a photo. And then the inside, which is going to kind of hurt to hold this here, but um, I think it's still wet. It has my cute um, inside image. And I am going to end up adding glitter to the inside the same way as I did the outside. Um, and then what I'll do is I will have pictures when I am finished so you can see it uh, up close and like all personal. So there we go. So you can think, ooh, I want to make one of these. All right, have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye. Oh, and actually if you have any questions, you can email me at heatherahudson at gmail.com or you can contact me through YouTube um, or Google Plus, however it's working now. Or you can um, check me out at my blog at heatherahudson.blogspot.com. Bye. Hi, friends. I am back, and I just wanted to show you how the card um, ended up. Here is my front, and you'll see I have my little piece of paper in here that has, um, you know, baby photo here, so she can use that as a mat to cut out her um, picture. I went ahead and I added the foam tabs here so that she can just um, take the little backing paper off and then attach that to the back um, so it'll stay um, down. And look at how pretty and glittery my little Finding Nemo and his buddies are. And then um, the ribbon, just so you know, I got from Really Reasonable Ribbon. Um, it's a grow grain. Okay, and then on the inside, I have the gingham. And remember, you can learn how to make the um, bow on the front by watching one of Bonnie's videos. Okay, so I went ahead and added the glitter to the inside. And you can see how that turned out really pretty and sparkly. And my colors are the same as they were on the front. But just to go over it one more time, I used the, let's see, Blue Angel on the outside, which is 183. And then, let's see, I used Banana 92. There we go, it's just a yellow color. That was um, what I used like in here on the orange and stuff. Let's see, I have the Crystal 85, which I used on um, the eyeballs here. And 162, just peachy, is what I used on the pink areas. So the, our little critter here and this here. And let's see, what else did I use? I believe I used lettuce. 
and I used clementine. So lettuce is number 286. And it's the green and then clementine 236, which is what I used on this um, kind of tannish brown color here. All right, so I think that covers all my colors. Um, and I'm really happy with the way my card turned out. And I hope that my girlfriend, um, when she gives it to her friend, that her friend will love it. So uh, I'm going to let her sign her name on the back here. And we'll be good to go. All right, well, thank you for watching my video. And I hope to see you again. Bye.